Ultra Zekrom's Pokemon Hard Gold and Soul Silver Walkthrough Part 8. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Last time we took care of some things in the Slowpoke world. Caught ourselves a new Pokemon Slowpoke. Didn't give it a nickname. This Slowpoke yawned at me. I fell asleep. I just woke up. It's time to take on the gym. If I can get in. So, yeah. This is uh, the second gym. If you haven't noticed already, it is a bug type gym. So, by the way, I trained my hoot hoot up to level. Not my hoot, I said my trope. I trained my slowpoke up to level 11, but I'm not going to be using him in his gym because bug is super affecting and it's quite psychic, and uh, I don't want that. And slowpoke's part, part psychic, so you, all you want to do here, don't go into. If you go to the um, right, it will take you nowhere. If you go the one on the left, this is where you need to go, and it will take you go in the middle, it will take you to that trainer in the corner. So I'm actually going to go in the middle. I'm going to try and fight as many trainers as I can. So yeah, I'm going to fight this dude. You come all this way, crossing the web like a bug Pokemon. Allow me to teach you the charms of a bug Pokemon. Okay, um, yeah, I don't think I read that right, but whatever. I'm just. Bug Catcher Owl has a Caterpie, and whenever you think of Bug Pokemon, you think of Caterpies, Weedles, but actually, Bug Pokemon aren't really that bad, like, the um, Gym Leader, haha, <laughs> string shot missed, so Gym Leader will have, um, a pretty decent Bug Type Pokemon, like, one of my favorite Bug Type Pokemon of all time, and this Caterpie is determined to lower my speed, even though it's already faster than me. How is a stupid bug like faster than a hoot hoot? Faster than an owl? Is that even possible? So yeah, I finished it off with another pack. And I avoided the attack slingshot twice, so. There we go, Caterpie goes down. Level 13. And I'm learning uproar. That's a great move. If you don't teach hoot hoot uproar, then you should turn off your DS and start the game all over again because this is like his best move right now. Like, but I think they make uproar in newer games like 90 base power, but in the, these older games like fourth gen they have only 50 base power. But like in black and white, black and white 2 they made uproar 90 base power. So, so and this guy has a wheel. I'm going to test out my new move uproar and don't get poisoned, please. On a critical hit, really. Yeah, there we go. Not quite enough to knock it out. And you're gonna use String Shot. So this Caterpie and this Weedle are determined to wreck my speed. Like, what's the point of that? Like, why is everybody determined to wreck my speed? So yeah, uh, Weedle goes down. 133 experience points and 132 bucks. So. Let's go back on this giant spider of death. I swear this thing can actually kill you like if it starts like crawling towards you. Like, what, what you want to do here is head over here now. So yeah guys, like uh, this is probably going to be my last video for the year. And next year I'm actually going to start a new walkthrough. That's something to look forward to. And guys, there's something else like uh, I'll talk to you when I start this battle. Like, yeah, like I'm not going to pro... Uh, maybe I will, but maybe I won't. I'll do my next walkthrough on a DS. But if you know like any good ROM files, like um, can you please like um either inbox me or post it in one of my comments, like a good ROM file because I want to do try and do like uh, a walkthrough on the computer because it's way better quality. Uh, I got the emulator to zoom 9.9.8, so that's the latest version of it so far. Like oh, technically one hit, one hit. So yeah, um. If you can guys like uh, tell me a good ROM, like just uh, inbox me and I'll tell you which game I want. Don't don't spoil it for anybody. Fun. You can guess it in the comment section, but still, just just uh, inbox me and saying like a good uh, ROM website. Oh, and I just moved my camera. Sorry, sorry about that. So yeah, just otherwise I'm just gonna do my walkthrough on a DS. Cause I got the game, but I just wanted to make way better quality. But 
so yeah, Cocoon back to business. Cocoon goes down and one more and I I need to have a B drill, I better get out of here. Gonna go to Rocky. Yes, Rocky. B Actually you use B drill my leaf green lock through, but Don't worry, don't don't try and search for it, like I I didn't this is my first ever walkthrough, so don't try and looking. Oh, and all oh, my Pokemon are avoiding my attacks, and now. Okay, I missed anyway. Okay, a few attacks and a hit, but. Okay, look at this. It's gonna hit five times. Like, look at this prediction skills. That's three. Okay, it's not. Okay. Fail. And I missed again. What the heck is wrong with G, G dude? Come on. How's it? It's not that hard to throw a rocket to B. Well, sort of is, but. Yes, finally it hits. So there we go, one hit KO. B Joe goes down. Rocky a lot of experience points. Level 14. And I'm rolling. Rocky's rolling. And a lot of experience points. Love catcher Benny has been defeated. So yeah, all you want to do now is just go on a spider. A spider of death. And I'll take you to these two girls. And I just forget to put my Pokemon up front, so I have no idea who's next. Is, did I just see that? Like, is your name Mimi? Like, what the heck? That's not even a name, Mimi. What the heck? Amy and Mimi. That's. And these are the two most worthless Pokemon in the game: Ladybot and Spinarak. Like, oh, okay, I got a good matchup. Um, I would not recommend using it, either of those because they're just terrible. So there we go, there we go. Ember and Ladybar, because I hate Lady Ladybar so much. And you live with Okay, I, I just miss cooking Ladybar, okay. Lived. Ah uh, really that's kinda of embarrassing now. And you're using Comet Punch. How is a Ladybar using Comet Punch? And I swear if this poisons me, I'm gonna be so mad. Okay. Should have seen that coming. And I do not have any antidotes with me. Just quick attack away for the win, should I say? Yeah, today like I got like into so many like adventures, like not adventures but like when I was doing my morning jog today, like I met one of my friends and we did like a rock, paper, scissors, like and I lost the rock, paper, scissors, and I had to run like three kilometers. I was just doing like a jog around, like a few, a few laps around, uh, around the oval. But then, like, it made me do like, like ten laps around the oval. So, that, and it's pretty hot outside as well. So I just came back, and that did not feel good at all. And I'm poisoned right now. Yeah, I felt poisoned after that. That's how I felt. And I could fight that buck catcher there, but I don't want it. So I'm ready to take on the gym leader. I said I'll, I'll fight like all the everybody, but absolutely everybody, but no. Okay, that was kind of dumb thing. So who, sh who should I heal up? Well, Kulaba 100%. And I have five super potions now. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and what got challenge? Give me a Bugsy. But before we could do that, I'm gonna put Rocky up front. And Rocky's a bit low in health, but it doesn't really matter. Because Rocky's a decent hit, t hit taker. So Bugsy's like all oh, that butt like that. I did not read dialogue at all, but like Bugsy looks like a girl, like. Wait, who doesn't think that Bugsy's a girl? Oh, anyways, just, just Bugsy's the only gym leader that starts with his highest level Pokemon at the very start. This thing knows the U-turn, Leer, Focus Energy, and Quick Attack. Basically, what it will do is he's U-turn, do a heap lot of damage to you, and then retreat to one of his weaker Pokemon, which is Kakuna and Metapod. So that that's sort of a good strategy. Well, it's going for Focus Energy. Like, he usually goes for a U-turn straight away. And I think this will knock it out here. Oh, you live, really? Oh. 
Okay. Or just keep using rock throw. I think he's gonna go for a U-turn. What the heck? Like, why is he going for a U-turn? Like, this is the first time it's ever happened to me. Like, the Scyther is not using U-turn. Okay, so we took his biggest threat out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Something's wrong. My voice. Took his biggest threat out, so... Rocky's gonna use a magnitude, which is an awesome ground type move. It just gives you a random number, and then if it goes like magnitude 10, it's, it does like as much damage as Hyper Beam or like Giga Impact. But if it, you can do like magnitude 2 and double level up, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Rocky's rolling. So yeah, he's gonna send out Metapod. So yeah. I should have went to Hoo Hoo actually. So yeah, let's just use Rock Throw. So yeah, this is like I I was sure he was gonna use U turn. I didn't have to do like one hit point. Just keep Rock Throwing. Oh, you gotta use a Super Potion not on your Slither, but your Meta Pod, right? Eh? Okay. Oh, I did a little more, but not quite knock it out. And finish you up with a tackle. There we go, Metapod goes down. Rocky. Now I'm actually gonna switch out here. To my hoot hoot. Because, like, his main threat, Scyther, is the only thing that threatens me in this battle, but Metapod and Kakuna are just. Well, come on, Bugs, you could have had a, like, a B Drew and a. Butterfree by now, but somehow he didn't want to involve his Peck already. Alright, so I'm going to use a Peck. Okay, and you're going to poison me right now, aren't you? Aren't you going to poison me? Come on, I know you want it. Okay, you didn't. Good. So I'm, now I'm going to use Uproar. One or two Uproar should do the trick. And I just love this music and like... It reminds me of the Leap 4. The Leap 4 is a long time away and I got poisoned for it, so. I think Poison Sting has like 30% uh, chance of poisoning you, but it happens to me like every two turns. Maybe it's not 30%, maybe I just. Maybe I don't, I'm just crazy. So there we go, Cocoon goes down. <laughs> Who's gonna get level 14? And that's. That's it. We defeated Gym Leader Bugsy. Not, not that hard at all. So yeah, Bugsy, whoa, amazing, you're an expert on Pokemon. My research isn't my uh, my research isn't complete yet. Okay, you win. Take this badge. And we received the hive badge from Leader Bugsy. Now we can use um now just um Pokemon after level 3 will obey with no problem. And he's gonna give us a TM89, which is U-turn move that he didn't use, but it's just it's 70 base power move. So yeah, there we go. We defeated Jimmy the Bugsy, and I'm poisoned. So let's head outside now. So just trouble in the spires of death, almost dying from poison. So yeah, there we go, everything's done in this gym. The gym puzzle isn't that hard. But there's no certified trainer list over here, but it's actually like, like, if you're getting confused where it is, it's over here. So, Azalea Town Pokemon Gym. Leader Bugsy, certified trainer Zachrom. Yeah, and I just realized that I spelled my name like all capital letters, but it doesn't really matter. So yeah. We're here in Azalea Town, so guys, next time we'll be heading out of Azalea Town and probably, maybe, maybe catching ourselves our last team member. So, thank you all for watching. And next year, there's going to be a new video. Next year, not this year. <laughs>